and I'm gonna tell you all you need to know, well, not all you need to know, but at least the basics of the Warlock 2 editor that we brought live yesterday with the release of the game. So, for those of you who are not familiar with Warlock 2, it's a turn-based fantasy warfare game, a very serious game in a light-hearted setting, uh, hex-based, lots of orcs, you will like it. For those of you who are aware of the game, you've probably been playing around with it a bit for a while now, since, since we released it yesterday and had it out for pre-order for a while. So, the editor, something a lot of people has asked us about, is the possibility, the possibility to make your own content for a game like Warlock. It wasn't possible with the first game, due to how we, how we, we built it, but uh, because so many people requested it, requested it. Sorry about my English and not being able to speak ability. Uh, we felt that it was really important to make this an integrated and kind of easily used part of the second game. So, as you can see from my main menu here, the editor is in in there. So what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to walk you through. A couple, uh, a couple of pretty easy steps to get you started. What you can do with this editor is it's pretty deep. Not all of it can be done in a nice graphical menu. But if you are, unlike me, handy with the XML files, you can do magic. So, the editor. Let's create a new one and let's call this new mod. Let's call it Streaming. You're so creative. I know, I know. It's uh, very inspired. So as you can see, once we've uh, created a new mod that we want to make make changes into, we get a nice little menu here of everything that can be done from this interface. We can we can make maps, we can uh, put maps together into smaller campaigns or larger campaigns, depending on how many maps you make. Uh, and we hope that this is something a lot of players will do, since we know there are a lot of creative Warlock users out there. You can edit units, you can edit the actions of units, the perks, spells, the combat buildings, buildings, well, now I'm just reading from the list here. So what I'm going to... There's no shame in reading off the list. Yet. Thank you, thank you. I always get carried away when, when I stream. I hey, do it way no, too seldom. There's, it's, it's okay, it's, you're, you're invested yeah, in your craft. And yeah, I've been, your I've been working with this game for almost a year and a half now, and I really want you to love it as much as I do. <laughs> so what I'm going to do, I'm going to start by doing something pretty easy. I'm going to create a new great mage. So, as you can see, when we click the mages button, we can either go in and edit the existing great mages, if we think that King Rat, for example, should be more cooperative or should have other victory goals or just have other perks, mm -hmm. that is pretty, pretty easily doable. But that's not what we want to do now. Instead, we want to create a new one. And what we do is that we make a copy of an existing instance in the game. For example, let's pick Tlalokian. Uh, and we will call him... Jorgorov. <laughs> Very inspired. Na na yeah, named yeah. after yours truly. Yes. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is that we're going to rename him here as well. Uh, I don't have the time to rewrite my own backstory. We're going to do... We're going to remove Lord of Kotals, reset all the perks because I want some cooler stuff. I'm going to be a conjurer. This is, pre this is pretty much like... Um, like how you customize a regular great mage, but I don't want to be. I want to be more cooperative. I want to be way more treacherous. So treacherousy is basically the higher the number, the more the, b the higher the chances the mage will stab you in the back. Exactly, exactly. Uh, and the the victory goals uh, is how the how that great mage will react uh, or what that great mage will try to do if it's not played by a human player. Mm. So when I'm looking at this mage right now is that he wants to annihilate other mages. Yeah. He's, he is very, very cooperative, but he will stab you in the back whenever he can. Exactly. So let's let's say that he wants to cast the unity in spe yeah, spell mm -hmm. instead. Let's give him clean the land and lesser weakness. Mm -hmm. uh, the monsters also feel a bit dull, so let's go with plane striders instead. And most importantly, I'm now... I'm going to use a picture <laughs> of myself looking like a stupid person. That is beautiful. And we accept that. 
Ta-da! And as you can see, we now have a... Uh, and currently we have a small bug. It saves the name, but it looks in a different it looks in a different way. That will be fixed later today when we patch. So if we now go out of the modding and try to start a new single game, new game, I should be there I should are, be there. there. Is. There we have me. <laughs> with uh, with the perks I made and the spells I choose for myself and mm -hmm. also with a different race. So in this particular way, can you create hilariously overpowered uh, wizards if you really want to? Of course you can. Of course you can. And you can also use this to play... Uh, you can use these and all mods in multiplayer. What you need to see to is that you need to have the same mods activated as mm -hmm. the as the host. Mm -hmm. And we're currently working on a system for if you join a game... It will uh, automatically download those Exactly, the mods of the host. Okay. Which is pretty handy. So this is pretty basic stuff. You can also use it to... If you feel that, if you feel that the difficulty level is a bit low, you want more aggressive uh, opponents, mm -hmm. this is the easiest way to do it. Mm -hmm. uh, let's go back into... And you can... You can either use this to just add a significant amount of great mages into the same, into the same mod. So if you want to make a great mage pack, uh, you just make a mod that is named like great mage pack or something else inspiring, and then you just add them to there. Right. So basically, you, you can pretty much the community is creating or uh, can create a whole bunch of stuff, and you can just download it at whim. Exactly. And for people who are more um, let's call it more graphically savvy than I am. Mm -hmm. They can make much prettier great mages than a low-res photo of myself looking like a stupid person. No, of course. But there, like I said, there is no shame in these things. <laughs> it's, it's, it's all fine. Uh, wh when it comes to um, the great mages, um, can you, for instance, create a mage which doesn't have the ability to, to build any units or any buildings. He just starts with a single unit that is hilariously overpowered and uses that to scale through the entire game. Is that possible? Uh, yes, you can kind of, through the XML file, create create a uh, a mage that is a capital in in itself. Mm -hmm. Our QA guys have done, it, uh, have done it. They are very good with the XML magic mm -hmm. that I don't... That I don't control myself. Mm -hmm. They've been they've been able to make awesome stuff like huge ravens, uh, one hex, enormous minotaur, <laughs> cool stuff. Okay. 